Hello guys, Namaste and welcome to my yet another travel video. Today I'm here in Sydney, Australia's oldest and the largest city. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you top five best places to visit in Sydney. Let's go. Number one, Opera House. If you're coming to Sydney and you are not going to Opera House, you're missing big time. The Sydney Opera House, a symbol of Australia's cultural heritage, is an architectural marvel located on Benalong Point in Sydney Harbour, providing breathtaking views and photos opportunities, especially against the backdrop of Harbour Bridge. It features cells like structures, inspired by natural forms. It is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2007. The Opera House houses multiple performance spaces, hosting over 1500 annual events from opera and ballet to contemporary theater and concerts. Its iconic sails covered in over a million Swedish made tiles serve as a canvases. Events like Vivid Sydney attracting millions of visitors. As one of the Australia's top tourist attractions, it draws over 8 million visitors annually with 350,000 taking guided tours. The Sydney Opera House remains a testament to human creativity, with the striking design and cultural significance continue to inspire worldwide. Number 2. We have Royal Botanic Garden. The Royal Botanic Garden in Sydney is a 30 hectare botanical garden and public recreation area located at Farm Cobb near the eastern edge of Sydney's central business district. It was established in 1816, making it the oldest scientific institution in Australia and one of the most significant historic botanical institutions globally. The garden opens daily with free access. Its beautiful locations on Sydney Harbour, near the Sydney Opera House, and its expansive public parklands make it a popular attraction. The Royal Botanic Garden is one of the best places to spend a day offering a serene and beautiful environment. You can take a guided tour to learn about the history of flora and fauna of the garden. Alright, number 3 we got Tarunga Jude. It is located on the shores of Sydney Harbour, is one of the Australia's premier zoological parks, renowned for its stunning views and diverse animal collection. It was opened in 1916. The zoo covers 28 hectares and houses over 350 species. It is divided into a zoo geographic regions, featuring animals from Australia and around the world, including rare and endangered species. The zoo is dedicated to wildlife conservation, education, and research, playing a crucial role in breeding programs for threatened species and rehabilitating injured wildlife. Visitors can enjoy those encounters with animals, participate in educational programs and witness daily shows and feeding sessions. The highlights include the free flight bird show and the seal show which showcase the natural behaviors and skills of the animals.
Taringa Zoo is accessible by ferry, bus, car. The zoo provides a unique and enriching experience combining wildlife explorations with conservation awareness. Number 3. The Queen Victoria Building The Queen Victoria Building in Sydney is a grand Romanesque revival style shopping centre. Known for its architectural beauty and historic significance, it was originally built as a market hall. Now it houses an area of high-end boutiques, specialty shops, cafes and restaurants across its four levels. The building features an exquisite stained glass dome, intricate tiling and ornamental cast iron, preserving its Victorian charm. The royal clock and the great Australian clock, which are popular attractions for visitors, are the highlights of the building. The QVV has undergone extensive restorations to maintain its historical integrity while offering a modern shopping experiences. If you are looking for the branded shop while you are in Sydney, QVV would be the best place and it is easily accessible via public transport and remains a vibrant hub for commerce and beloved architectural landmark. Number 5 is Bondi Beach. Bondi Beach is one of the Australia's most famous beaches, attracting millions of tourists each year. And it is known for its golden sands, clear blue waters, and excellent surf. Bondi is a hub for beachgoers, surfers, and sunbathers. The one kilometer long beach is patrolled by lifeguards, and there are designated swimming areas, making it a safe spot for families and casual swimmers. Tourism at Bondi extends beyond the beach itself. The Bondi to Kogi coastal walk offers stunning ocean views and scenic cliff tops, while Bondi's vibrant promenade is lined up with cafes, restaurants, and boutiques offering diverse dining and shopping experiences. The beach hosts numerous events throughout the year, including the annual sculpture by the sea exhibitions and various surf competitions. It is easily accessible by public transport. Bondi Beach is a must-visit destination in Sydney, combining natural beauty with a lively cosmopolitan atmosphere appealing to both locals and international visitors. Guys, that's it for today's video. If you are visiting Sydney for the first time, there are lots of things to see and do it. Make sure to plan your trip early as Sydney is a very busy place and can be exhausting on the day. Hope you find this video helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for the future travel content and enjoy your trip to Sydney. Bye.